Welcome back to NBA 2K17. We are in the All-Star Weekend, and uh, this episode is strictly the three-point contest. I wanted to show what every single player did, especially since this is such a star-studded three-point contest. Uh, I'm alongside Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, CJ McCollum, Damian Lillard, and James Harden. Uh, I think it's going to be entertaining as it is already, so I'll only be commentating when I'm up to shoot and uh, when the other players are up, I just want you guys to enjoy it just as the game designed for all of us to enjoy it in the All-Star Weekend. Last rack composed of all money balls. Those are worth two points instead of just one. All in all, a max possible score of 34. And 60 seconds to take all 25 shots. Not a ton of time. As soon as one shot is out of your hands, you have to be ready to get off the next. So often we see just a few misses in a row totally derail the play. It has that snowball effect if you let it. It's all the more reason your only thought as a shooter could be on your next shot, not the previous one, whether it's a miss or a make. Tough stuff. Honey ball, no good. Now he's starting to struggle. He's losing his way here. That's seven misses in a row. Eight points. He's made all but one of his money balls. He's got 12. He finishes with 14 points on the board. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls. Pretty good. Here we go with Damian Lillard. I'll tell you one thing. If a player doesn't get into a rhythm and start stringing shots together, it's over quickly. And we talk about that a lot, but that's because it is so important. With 25 shots to get off in 60 seconds, there's just no time to ease into it. Three down. And four points. Solid start. That's seven. Eight points. He's got nine. Can't get the money ball. Up to ten now. Eleven points. Finishing strong. And with that shot, he moves into sole possession of first place. He's on top. He's at 19. He's able to total 21 points. Out of the nine money balls, pretty good. So it's James Harden ready to go. One way to ensure success in this event is by hitting those money balls. Those give you a nice jolt of momentum. Yeah, that's a great point. There have been some famous moments when a player without the best shooting percentage comes out on top solely because they're able to drain the money ball. A little bump of a slump here. Makes his first there. Two points. Two straight tough racks. down four points that's three racks in a row now that have given him fits he's got five six four money balls four misses that hurts eight points eight points is all he ends up with there well, not his finest showing. I think. It looked like he was starting to get into a good rhythm. He would just as quickly fall out of it. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. And, and Clay's dad was an NBA player, but, but played more down in the post. But, but as you know, the more you're around the NBA, the more coaching you get, and it's no surprise to see Clay shoot this well. So to stay in it, he needs at least 12 points. The door left open here. He's in good shape. Six more points to stick around. Seven points. Two racks to go. And young fella play really making it look easy out there. One more to stay alive. Honey ball, no good. One more to stay alive. That gets him into the third hole and books him a place in the finals. So he's got 19 points. Now that's how you do it. Outstanding performance. Yeah, he missed a couple in a row early. Then everything looked rushed and hurried. And before we knew it, he missed nine in a row. 
And so it'll be Stephen Curry. And if you look at the numbers through the first part of his career, there is no doubt in my mind Steph Curry will end up being the greatest shooter in the history of this game. Just amazing to watch him shoot. So often we see just a few misses in a row totally derail the play. It has that snowball effect if you let it. And all the more reason your only thought as a shooter could be on your next shot, not the previous one, whether it's a miss or a make. Steph catching fire now. He's in the zone. Now eight points. I could only get one shot to fall off the rack. for second. He's got 12. Make that 14. He finds himself at 16 points at the end of the round. He turned in a pretty good round. So I kind of lucked out. It hasn't been as competitive as I thought it was going to be. James Harden obviously played really, really terrible. And Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry only uh, both got under 20 points. The only player in this contest who got above 20 was Damian Lillard with 21 points made. Now, I had a decent start. I did hit that money ball to get the four points. And uh, one thing about this contest is that you feel rushed even though when, even though you're supposed to take your time when shooting. Um, I have only a minute to get all these shots up. And so far, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, maybe even a little slower than the average pace since it's under 30 seconds. And I still i am just getting done with the middle rack. Now, I only have eight points, but I need to get at least 16 in order to move on to the next round. So, it is definitely crunch time. I still need to make, oh, that one rattled out. And I get the perfect release. Money balls are two points, and the last rack is all money balls. So, I need to hit two if I want to stay alive. And that one rimmed out. I'm taking my time now. Uh oh, is this it? It's perfect release. And we tie it at 16. So Stephen Curry and myself did tie at 16 apiece. Klay Thompson ended up with 19 and Damian Lillard at 21. So it is time for sudden death between Stephen Curry and myself. Blowing away the competition in the first round, guys. Yeah, obviously he's the guy with all the momentum. I mean, he'd probably like to go first just to keep that momentum going. But I still think he'll be fine going last. Especially with his confidence. It's got to be sky high. And I'm sure he'll want to know exactly what the target is. And so it'll be Stephen Curry. He's got 30 seconds here to put up as many points as he can. Five points. To Six. Money ball, no good. Seven points. Now eight points. So it'll be money, right? Here. So Stephen Curry got eight. And uh, with 30 seconds, I feel like eight is very doable. Um, obviously, I really could take a little bit more time to get my shots up. And uh, since every single shot that I take right now is very important, uh, but so far I have two, and that one rattles out. The one thing that confused me about the three-point contest is how the bar really doesn't dictate if you make it or miss it. There's been multiple times where I've had close to perfect and the the shot is completely off. So right here I have four, I have five now, and I need to make at least three. Oh, that one rattled out and I ran out of time. So, uh, it looks like it's gonna be Stephen Curry, Damon Little, and Clay Thompson to finish out the rest of this three-point contest. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. He had the lowest score of all the qualifiers, so he goes first and see if he can kick it up a few notches. You definitely want to try to get off to a good start because, guys, I'll tell you, if you whiff that first rack, it can really throw you off and keep you off. Clark, that's a great point. That, that's a blow to your confidence, and then you start pressing if you stumble out of the gate. And that's two racks in a row that he struggled with. Four points. Look, he just had a flat tire. He's gone off the rails. Three bad racks in a row. Five points now. Only man to sink one there. That's five in a row. He better get it together. Bad news right there. Seven points. Yeah, he's cooled off here at the finish. 
Nine points is what he finishes with. That's far below what he's capable of doing when he's on his game. Yeah, it took him some time to get going, didn't it? it he tossed up five straight misses to start off the round. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. And Clay's dad was an NBA player, but, but played more down in the post. But, but as you know, the more you're around the NBA, the more coaching you get. And it's no surprise to see Clay shoot this well. Six points more, and it's tied. Four points. Five more points to tie it up. Five points now. Three racks down, two to go. One more to tie. Now nine points. Can't get the money ball. Eleven points. He comes away with eleven points. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. Yeah, struggled with consistency there. Uh, we always talk about guys getting into a rhythm in this event, and he just wasn't able to. Here we go with Damian Lillard. He was the hottest shooter entering the finals, so he earned the right to go last, and he knows exactly what the target is. Somehow he made it through to the final, shooting a score in the first round that usually isn't going to get you close to qualifying. And he has some of the other guys to thank for that. I mean, it was an ugly round for a few players. Maybe this round will be a different story for him. Six points away from the win. He's up to seven. Now eight points. Now nine points. Three more points to win. He's got ten. Two more to win. Got it, and that's all she wrote. That yep. does it, folks. Yep. That's the winning score. Yeah, that's still with a few shots left just for fun. A strong close out. So Damian Lillard wins the three-point contest. He ends up with 18. Like I said earlier, it was not um, a high-scoring three-point contest, but uh, it was definitely very competitive. Even Seven Curry and myself going into sudden death. So for this three-point contest, um, no, I didn't get the win, but it was, of course, my first one, my first All-Star weekend, and it was just a good experience to participate and be around these star-studded guys, and uh, that's really the most important part. The next episode coming on later today is the dunk contest, so you guys, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be very exciting, but of course, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I am signing out. See you guys later. Peace. Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows, million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world, cause that's just all that I know.